Now we are moving towards the invited presentations. I would like to call upon the dais honorable Dr. B. R. Prasanna Kumar, former finance officer, statutory post, Central University of Kerala. We have another guest professor, Dr. Nimali Takshasila, professor of practice, researcher and journalist, Department of Yoga, Naturavati, Andhra University, Vishakapatanam, India. Please come on the dais ma'am. Dr. Prasanna Kumar and invited speakers are Dr. Narayanan, Lieutenant Dr. Siju CJ, Mrs. Ranjita, Mr. Davi, Mr. Anucha, and Dr. Raghu P.S. One more thing is that I would like to invite on the dais uh, Professor Nili Mama. First of all, I would like to invite Dr. Narayanan Pandala Siya. Dr. Narayanan, please, sir. Very good morning to one and all. My, it is allowed only three minutes for my presentation. Even though the time is very late, I am making it within the stipulated time. My topic is Challenges and Reforms in the Indian Impotence Act, a critical examination of Parthia Sakshi Athenia. The Indian Impotence Act, that's on 1872, it is a pillar of Indian legal system has play, played a pivotal role in shaping the country's judicial proceedings for our country. However, as India's sociological and landscape has evolved, the Act's limitations rooted in its colonial origins have become increasingly evident. The article critically examines the major challenges posed by the Act, including its rigidity, outdated provisions, and inadequacy in addressing modern legal issues such as electronic evidence, it is very important, electronic evidence, the protection of vulnerable witnesses and gender bias. In response to these challenges, the article proposes a series of comprehensive reforms aimed at modernizing the Act. These reforms include enhancing judicial discretion, updating the treatment of digital evidence, strengthening protections for vulnerable and marginalized groups, revising the burden of proof and presumption provisions and improving the clarity and accessibility of the law. Additionally, the article advocates for the establishment of a mechanism for regular review and updates to ensure the Act remains relevant in a rapidly changing legal environment. By implementing these reforms, the Indian Evidence Act can better fulfill the role in delivering justice, safeguarding individual rights and adapting to the complexities of contemporary legal practice. The proposed changes are essential not only for the improving the efficiency of the legal system but also for the upholding the principles of fairness, equity and justice in Indian democratic society. Even though the time is very limited, I am making the conclusion. The Indian Evidence Act has long served as a crucial pillar of the Indian legal system, providing a structured framework for the admissibility and evaluation of evidence in judicial proceedings. However, as the social legal landscape of India has evolved, the Act's limitations have become increasingly apparent. Its colonial legacy, rigid and inability to fully address modern challenges such as technological advancements, it is very important. The protection of vulnerable witness and issues 
of gender bias it is also very important necessary a comprehensive reassessment this article has critically examined the major challenges facing the indian evidence set and proposed a series of reforms aimed at making the act more adaptable fair and effective in the administration of justice these reforms including introducing greater judicial discretion modernizing the treatment of electronic and digital evidence strengthening protections for vulnerable witnesses revising the provisions related to the burden of proof presumptions enhancing the role of forensic evidence comma addressing gender bias improving the accessibility of and clarity of the law and instituting a regular reviews and updates the proposed reforms are not merely technical adjustments but are intended to ensure the acts aligns with contemporary legal principles and the evolving needs of the indian society by incorporating these changes the evidence act can better fulfill its role in delivering justice protecting the rights of individuals and ensuring that legal system remains both fair and responsive to the complexities of the modern world ultimately the success of these reforms will depend on a collaborative effort among lawmakers from the judiciary legal practices and civil society the reform the indian evidence act has potential to enhance the credibility and the effectiveness of the indian legal system fostering greater public confidence in the administration of justice as india continues to advance as a global leader it is imperative that its legal framework evolves in tandem uh, reflecting the values of justice equity and human dignity that are fundamental to any democratic society that is the new evidence act is known as bharatiya uh, sakshi athine thank you very much thank you very much sir uh, dr narayan pandal sir for your visionary speech